Now this is one huge resin printer and we're gonna be checking it out. So let's get started. I want to thank Elegu for sending this over to me for review and this is called the Saturn 2. Everything we talk about will be linked down in the description below along with this coupon code where you can actually pick one of these guys up for $500. So let's check it out. Now let's talk about resin printing for a little bit. Now it's come a long way from what it used to be, even the original model from the Elegu Mars series to this guy right over here. So here we have one of the original Elegu Mars. And one of the biggest issues or two biggest issues we have with the original war version is the print bed size along with the print speed. Now the print bed size on this is 120 millimeters by 68 millimeters by 155 height. And the print speed on this is eight seconds per layer. So it takes a very long time to print anything out of this. While you can print in high quality detail with this, you're just not getting the volume that you want. So this is the Mars 3 4K Ultra. Now they did resolve one big issue with this, which is the print bed speed. And each layer, instead of being eight seconds on the original version, it's two seconds on this guy. Now this has a slightly bigger print bed volume, but not that much, just by 20 millimeters. This is 143 by 89 by 175 height. So while it didn't get much bigger in print bed volume, the speed is four times faster than the previous version. So yeah, this has made a huge improvement along the lines. And now they introduced the Saturn II, which is ginormous. This thing resolves both the problems that those guys had, which is the print bed speed along with build plate size. The printable size on this is 219 by 123 by 250 height. So this thing could print almost near FDM size. So FDM usually is about 200 by 200, or if you get the bigger ones, it's 235 by 235, but you're right there on the length on this. This could print 219, so you could get near what you are trying to get with on a 3D printer. This also retains the two second layer height, so it's really fast for bigger volume. Now it is using an 8K screen, and because it's using the threaded lens, uh, it's able to evenly distribute the UV rays along the entire 10 inch bed. Now with the 8K resolution, you are still able to do the ultra high quality, uh, like tiny little parts and stuff like that. So it still retains its accuracy. Now I used this and I ended up printing the 3D Benchy, the tugboat, one on its normal size and one in its half size. And you could see that it's the half size still retains all the qualities, even though it's much smaller. That means the 8K screen is doing a fantastic job at it. And while you're taking a look at the larger size, you're not gonna have a problem with that either. So yes, it's gonna be able to print much bigger parts and really small parts as well. Now, the resin that I'm using is a plant-based resin, which is right over here. Uh, it is a little bit of a yellowish hue, so that's why you're seeing it's not completely 100% clear. But this is a, almost a full bottle and to fill up the bed on this takes almost the whole bottle. Obviously, you're only gonna print with however much resin you're gonna need, so it wasn't a big deal, but you do have to pour everything in and then pour everything back out into this bottle, which is the cleanup process, and that's one of the things I dread on doing resin printing. On this guy, it also includes a USB air purifier that's built into right over here. And in the back of that, you could actually uh, detach the window and put a vent in if you really wanted to, to vent it outside to atmosphere or something like that. But yeah, it actually has an air purifier in here and it works pretty well because I don't smell the resin as bad as I should after every print. Then in the front, you still retain the touch screen and also the power button. And then off to the side, you have your USB key, which I wish they actually kept it in the front because now I have to find room for the USB key on the side. Included with the package, uh, you do get this scraper right over here. Then you also get one of these guys, another plastic scraper, and then a bunch of hardware and tools that you could use for the resin printer. Now paired up with this, I actually use one of their older curing stations. That's what I have to cure the tugboats, but I don't believe that they have the curing station built out for this guy or this size yet. So you are only able to get the printer right now. All in all, setting this guy up was super easy. It is the same process to if you're gonna be using the Mars 3 or the Mars original version. Now it does come with its own software and all you have to do is just import your 3D models into there and then it exports into the USB. Now, one thing I've learned from these guys, especially from Elegoo Mars, uh, keep the original USB that comes with it because it's got configuration files for this guy that you could eventually make modifications to and also where you would upgrade the firmware to. There's a t uh, text file in there that retains the properties of your actual 3D printer. So if you wanted to do some little bit of hacks, which I did on my original Elegoo Mars, which allowed me to bring up the layer height 
from 155 to 170. You could just modify that file, but I don't recommend it. All in all, I didn't have any issues using this printer other than the fact that I do not like to clean the resin up at the end of it where you have to pour it back into the bottle because that's just tedious. I wish they had a process for that, but yeah, it works. Anyway, if you guys have any questions about this, hit me down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my Nerd Cave, thanks for watching.